Hello students, this is J Science Hub. Today we are going to study about blood transfusion. So what is blood transfusion? The transfer of blood from one individual to another is known as blood transfusion. The person who donate blood is called the donor and the person who receive the blood is called the recipient. So you should understand at which condition we are transfusing the blood. For example, if a person met with an accident or person is undergoing any major operations, the patient has to undergo a heavy blood lossage. In order to complement that blood lossage, we are transfusing the blood artificially. This diagram shows you how the blood transfusion can be take place in human. It looks very complicated, right? But after you watch this video, you can easily understand this diagram. So when transfusing the blood, we should consider about different factors. But the main factor we are consider should be the compatibility of blood group and the compatibility of the Rh factor. ABO blood types were discovered in 1900 by Dr. Karl Lenstiner at the University of Vienna. He wondered why some patients die as a result of blood transfusions and others did not. So he made a research on this and he found out there are different blood groups present in humans. And he understand there are four different types of blood presence among humans. They are blood group A, B, A, B and O. So now you have a question how these blood groups are classified or on which basis they classify them into four different groups. According to the ABO blood typing, we are considering about the nature of red blood cells presence in human. Red blood cells also red cell. It have a cell membrane made up of phospholipid. In this phospholipid, there are several proteins and glycolipids and other components will be present. Among them, there are two antigens are present. So we call them as antigen A and antigen B. It's very simple, right? Because it's very easy to remember. If the antigen A is only present, we consider that blood as a blood group A. If antigen B only presents, we consider it as a blood group type B. If both antigens are present, we consider it as a blood group type AB. If neither A nor B is present, we consider it as a blood group type O. So is it clear now? According to the presence of antigen in the red blood cells, we can classify the blood into four different groups. You know you have an immunity system to protect your body from any foreign matters, right? The antigens you have on your blood cells are recognized by your immune system as a self-antigen. If foreign antigen are discovered in your body, your immunity system will be alerted and it start to produce the antibodies against them. If the antigens and antibodies are react, it causes agglutination. Agglutination is a clumping of particles. If agglutination take place inside your body, what will happen? The clumping of particles inside your blood vessels will block the blood supply so the organs won't receive efficient blood supply so they start to fail if the organs start to fail it's a worse condition because it will result in death if a patient is having a blood group type a it means in his blood he is having antigen a so if you supply a blood from a donor who is having blood group a the patient is having the blood with antigen a and the blood you are transfusing also having antigen A, right? So your body will consider it as a self antigen. So there is no problem in transfusing this blood. If you transfer a blood from a donor who is having a blood group B, now he, you are transfusing a blood with antigen B, which is not present in patient blood. So the patient immunity system start to produce the antibodies which are against antigen B. So agglutination will take place and the person will face severe issues and even the patient can be died. Okay. Then think about AB. Transfusing AB also not possible. Why? Even though that blood consists antigen A, it also consists antigen B. So the patient body is still consider that antigen B as a foreign antigen so it will still produce the antibodies against it now think about transfusing blood group O blood group O doesn't have antigen A and antigen B so we can consider it as a zero so by adding this into the patient there will be no issue because there is no antigen and the immune system will not alert okay so from this example you can understand blood group O 
can be transferred to any person irrespective of blood group. So blood group O is considered as a universal donor. But blood group O can receive the blood from blood group O only because he doesn't have any antigen. So we can't transfer AB or AB, right? Think about a patient with AB blood group. In AB blood group, antigen A and B is present, right? So we can supply A blood group and B blood group. Also, we can supply AB. Also, we can supply because it doesn't have any antigen. So from this, you can understand AB is considered as a universal recipient. Even after consider this compatibility of blood group, there are some issues caused during blood transfusion. Then only they understand there is another factor called RH factor or it can be called as D antigen is present in red blood cells. It's very simple because if D antigen is present we call it as positive and if it is not present we call it as negative. The recipient who are RH positive can receive both RH positive and RH negative blood. However, that RH negative recipient can receive RH negative blood only. So, blood groups can be further divided into 8 blood groups as positive and negative. For example, A positive and A negative is there. Like that, B positive and B negative is there. AB positive, AB negative is there. As well as O positive and O negative is there. So now you understand the compatibility of blood group as well as the compatibility of RH factor. There are some other factors we should care when transfusing the blood. The donor should be free of diseases as well as the donor's blood should be free of any narcotics like alcohol or anything. And the person who, who are donor should ha have proper age as well as proper weight. Hope you all understand about blood transfusion and about blood grouping. Like the video. Share with your friends and subscribe to J Science Sub.